Hello, internet friends. As a new member of the one and only Liars Club, I'm very excited to be uploading my first video. And I know what you're thinking. Alvaro, this can't be your first video. You just seem so experienced. <laughs> Well, you might know me from my previous tenure at the uh, Collegiate Press, or more importantly, as the founder of my very own news site, The Colvin Culture. But hey, 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 enough about me. Let's shift our focus to the top news story of the week. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> it's also about me. You know, given the Colgian's traction with the fans, it's no coincidence that the professor had to have me take part in this little Liars Club experiment of his. And with Cuff coming out so soon, I'm sure he wants all the publicity he can get. And as everyone knows, where I have access, you have access to. Aww. So, let me set the scene. In an unprecedented power move, legendary professor Michael Moynihan has taken over one of the school's old ballrooms to be his new classroom. <laughs> we hear from an inside source that this has caused other departments to fume and the relocated theater club members to roam the campus lost, reciting haikus of fury. But why so serious, Dr. Moynihan? Is it because you decided to dismiss the police's decision to rule last year's fire as an old wiring accident and instead seek your own justice for Margot Miller? Hashtag justice for Margot. Yes, you heard that right. This class contains nine suspects pitted against each other to hunt down the alleged guilty party with the winner receiving the only A in class. <laughs> Talk about applied learning. Now I finally see the value in Colvin's 70K a year price tag. Our first assignment is to present our alibis in vlog form. Blazing hot gossip and digital reporting. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Moynihan. Five seriously snackable scenarios proving I couldn't have started the fire. Number five, wasn't at the admin building when the fire broke out. You can't start a fire in a building that you're not in. It's simple math. You can't start 100% of the fires that you don't start. <laughs> Number four, I was studying. On the night of the fire, I was at a location as equally heated and terrifying as the crime scene itself. You guessed it, the AC was broken again at the library and students here at Colvin seem to think deodorant is a choice. Oh. Number three, I was distracted by one of my sweet Colvin Cauldron fans. At 1 a.m., one of my diehard Cauldron fans informed me of a juicy fight brewing between two freshman lovers near the new Frosh building, coincidentally located right next to the admin building. Ah, uh, young love. Nothing like a good reminder that relationships are where fun goes to die. So join the Cauldron, where fun goes to live. Number two. I arrived at the dorm after the admin building was well on its way to Burn City. I found myself in just the right coordinates to both see and smell the making of one giant fire. I can even name some of the people I saw standing suspiciously close to the crime scene. <coughs> Erica <coughs> and Kat. What? And number one, reporters report they don't start fires. Nothing about this perfectly manicured look says I like to run, and clearly whoever started the fire would have had to been out of there as fast as, as fast as Tyler Bringham would have been out of his pants if his girlfriend had agreed to pluck his cherry. Sorry, Tyler, we'll get there one day. The reality is that by the time I got there, there were six fire trucks, three news stations, and throngs of stressed out students everywhere. It was a golden headline in the making. But let's not forget the tragic hero of this whole story, Margot Miller, who, when the smoke rolled into the room where she was working, was knocked right out. Apparently, she was in the building digitizing Moynihan's old research when the fire broke out. Yes, you heard me correctly. His data was still on paper. Moynihan's office was basically a tinderbox. Not that tinder. And this tragedy could have been prevented because Margot was quite literally dying <laughs> for modernization. Too soon? But lastly, to any of you who have information about last year's fire, just know that I'll gladly trade information for information. I'm the key to all the closets filled with skeletons here. You have an X you want to see pop up on the front pages of the Colvin Cauldron? You have a rumor you wish would stop? With the right helpful clue, I can make that happen. After all, whatever it takes to get justice for Margo. Perhaps a good place to start. Not that I want to point fingers, but I have a few inside sources telling me that Miss Erica Anders, performance artist extraordinaire, has a few secrets hidden up her sleeve. Could it be her who's lighting up the campus? Or do you believe her performance fizzles 
So let's swipe my name off your suspect list and let's get to the bottom of this. Remember, click like and subscribe to continue getting the hottest updates. And maybe I'll let you look inside my lie journal. Thanks for watching.